This is my home-built rose angel, constructed mostly from scrap. If you're looking at the main stepper motor drive, connected to a barrel of rosettes that are connected to the main shaft via an MDMDF clutch. The cutter motor is on the right and comes out of a micro link. This is the main clutch mechanism that is operated by releasing the lever on the left, which is at the rosette end, and applying the lever, which is a brake, to the main shaft. That's the lever on the right hand end of the picture. We're now looking at the main tension spring on the right is the wheel for the manual drive. This is the main clutch control mechanism being released. These are the stepper motor controls. This also controls the main motor. Here you see the rosette slower. bearing rubbing against the rosette and rubbing against the multifaceted The snubber moves up and down on the two glass bars as necessary. This is the spirograph. The whole stock rotates on two bearings at the bottom of the machine and patterns are drawn by a rubber rubbing its nose against the rosette. This is the spring tensioner which, which allows me to change the tension of the mechanism against the rubbers. I had a few requests for a little bit more detail about the manual clutch mechanism. The rosette barrel is mounted over the main shaft and is connected to the main shaft by two MDF discs which have a spring between them. The main shaft is has a threaded hole in the end to accept the cam lever which when applied holds the rosette tightly against the MDF plates. The main shaft is held in place by a simple friction brake by applying the lever on the right which presses down on a block of wood that holds the main shaft in place. The lever on the left then releases the pressure between the two plates of MDF, the spring pushes them apart and the rosette barrel can move quite independently. And by using the stepper motor you can, you, you can rotate the rosette barrel as many degrees as you wish quite independently of the main shaft. Very useful device for drawing some or carving some quite intricate patterns on the work pieces. Here you see the uh, main cutter motor cutting a double sine wave pattern on a small bowl. The sine wave is stepped 22 and a half degrees between each cut. So the first sine wave cut and then move the rosettes 
using the stepper control 22 and a half degrees and then make, then make the second cut. Relief carving using an eight pointed rosette. It's carved from the outside in and as you'll see later, it's then carved from the inside to the out. Each cut is taking a few more every time the cutter goes round. This is an example of a more complex spirograph pattern where the machine is allowed to copy the spirograph until it is finished. This uses a fairly small spirograph wheel with one of the inside holes rather than the exterior ones. This gives a pattern which is widely enough separated to work. piece takes around five minutes to carve from start to finish.